Got my coffee. Get your popcorn. We ready to start season two. <laughs> yeah, I started. Why are you looking at me all crazy? <laughs> Welcome back. We are starting season two, y'all. Season two. I cannot wait to get started. All right. So season one was a was a roller coaster. Yeah. I ain't like I ended either. Oh yeah. I'm trying to remember how the last episode went. I'm sorry. I, I got Alzheimer's. It's called being old. <laughs> <laughs> and that and like a sleep from working i know in episode nine ned gets his head cut off yeah so in 10 oh yeah rob captured jamie yeah he won his bat first battle Tyrion got <laughs> Tyrion got knocked out <laughs> trampled on uh, <laughs> Arya is on her way to the wall with the night's watch man and i think that's about it yeah of course we'll get a nice little and joffrey is king yeah that little fucker all right, guys, let's get started. Garriott and his sister. Oh, yeah, we forgot to talk about her dragons that she's got now. The hats. He will die tonight, Khaleesi. <laughs> Drogo will have no use for dragon eggs in the night labs. He don't understand. Everybody's gonna be scared of her a bit. She got some dragons. Go ahead. They're just little bitty ones. They grow, don't they? Not gonna kill him. Yeah, but it takes a while to grow. <laughs> Ouch. Well struck. Well struck, dog. Did you like that? It was well struck, Your Grace. I already said it was well struck. <laughs> what you want? Oh, ugly stare. Lotha Broom, free rider in the service of Lord Baelish. Sir Dontos the Red of House Holland. Here I am. Here I am. What in the world? Oh, my gosh. Are you drunk? No. Uh, no, no, Your Grace. Uh, I had uh, two cups of wine. Two cups? That's not much at all. Please. Have mm -mm. another cup. Mm-mm. Don't try, man. So don't just celebrate my name day. See that he drinks his fill. <laughs> what the? You can't. What did you say? Did you say I can't? Oh, my God. It would be bad luck to kill a man on your name day. The girl is right. When a man serves on his name day, he reaps all year. Take him away. I'll have him killed tomorrow, the fool. The fool will make a much better fool than a knight. Did you hear, my lady, Sir Dantes? From this day, you'll be my new fool. Thank you, Your Grace. <laughs> we looked for you on the battlefield. You were nowhere to be found. I've been here, ruling the kingdoms. What a <laughs> fine job you've done. My lady, I'm sorry for your loss. Her loss? <laughs> her father was a confessed traitor. But still her father. Surely, having so recently lost your own beloved father, you can sympathize. I do not like them. My mother and brother are traitors too. I am loyal to my beloved Joffrey. Enjoy your name day, Your Grace. Wish I could stay and celebrate. But there is work to be done. Why are you here? <laughs> the Raven arrived from the Citadel this morning, Your Grace, and declared this great summer done. The longest <laughs> summer in living memory. The peasants say a long summer means an even longer winter. We'll have enough wheat for a five year winter. If it lasts any longer, we have fewer peasants. Is that five week winter? Five year winter. Oh. Mm. Don't get up. Forgive uh. the interruption. Carry on. What are you doing here? This is the small council. Yes. Well, I 
do you believe the hand of the king is welcome at all small council meetings? Our father is hand of the king. Yes, but in his absence... Your father has named Lord Tyrion to serve as hand in his stead while he fights. Out! All of you out! <laughs> Somebody what you mad for? Like What's she your man for? fucking hates Tyrion. Why? How you tricked father into this. If I were capable of tricking father, I'd be emperor of the world by now. You brought this on yourself. I've done nothing. Quite right, you did nothing. When your son called for Ned Stark's head, that bit of theater will haunt our family for a generation. Joffrey is king. Joffrey is king. You are here to advise I'm him. Only here to advise him. And if <laughs> the king listens to what I say, the king might just get his uncle Jamie back. How? <laughs> you love your children. It's your one redeeming quality. That and your cheekbones. <laughs> they don't have cheekbones. Well, and we have two of them. One. One? Arya, little animal, she disappeared. Disappeared? What? In a puff of smoke? We had three stocks to trade. You chopped one's head off and let another escape. Must be odd for you to be the disappointing child. <laughs> give it to her, Tyrion. Give it to her. Daddy must be a mean daddy. <laughs> and of a hold fast generally falls to the lord of that hold fast. Generally, yes. But I've sent all the young men off to fight Rob Stark's war. King Rob. It is not his war. He didn't choose it. Maybe not, my lord. But he called in his banners and took the men. Joffrey killed my father. Do you remember your vows? Of course I remember. <laughs> you can spare four masons for a week, my lord. Will that be sufficient to repair your walls? I, I believe it will. No, let's get him on out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that whoop. Look, I'm up here looking in the watch trying to see what that is. I'm afraid there's a whoop. You've been having those dreams again. I don't dream. Everyone dreams. I don't. Heard some of the men talking about the comet. So it's an omen. So it means Rob will win a great victory in the south. I heard some other fools say it's Lannister Red. It means the Lannisters will rule all seven kingdoms before long. I heard a stable boy say it's the colour of blood. Mark the death of your father. Red <clears throat> Comet means one thing, boy. Dragons. Dragons are all dead. Not no more. They might no more. Now they gotta be thirsty. Mm -hmm. It's dry as I don't know what. Feet hurting. Her feet really hurt. <laughs> and the boots. What did your brother say about them, Khaleesi? He said they ate meat. He didn't tell you what kind of meat. My brother didn't know anything about dragons. He didn't know anything about anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Horse is falling out dead. Mm. And that don't look like a one. Well, maybe two. <laughs> she was Drogo's first gift to me. I remember. You gotta find some water somewhere. Well, eat it. <laughs> I promised them that enemies would die screaming. How do I make starvation scream? Eat the mm. horse. <laughs> Instead. That's all they ate in the first, whole first season was horse, wasn't it? If we go south to the land of the Lazarine, the landmen will kill us and take your dragons. If we go west to the Dothraki Sea, the first Kalisar we meet will kill us and take your dragons. No one will take my dragons. Sikoi koi! Shirakaro, shirago, shirkavaro. Fishy out of a kishi am. May I add Dothra teeth? May I bash a teeth? May I hash a teeth? Don't they need some water? Huh? They need water? Try to find some, I guess. This one must be the wall. I'm going to equate the wall with snow. <laughs> Having a rough time of it. 
Nothing's killed me yet. Your ass killed the sledge. You offered me a ride. I just wanted you to shut up about your damn blisters. Are those girls? <laughs> Frost's daughters. I haven't seen a girl in six months. <laughs> I'd keep on not seeing them if I were you. But you don't like people messing with his daughters. He don't like people messing with his wives. <laughs> he marries his daughters, and they give him more daughters. And on and on it goes. What happens to the boys? Hmm? He marries his daughters. What does he do with his sons? That's a good question. <laughs> I haven't had any good wine for a long time. You southerners need good wine. I'll give you that. We're not southerners. Who's this little girl? What's your name? Jon Snow. Snow. Now listen to me, bastard. All you lot from south of the wall, you southerners. I got that pretty little bastard talking to my daughters. No one will talk to your daughters. You have my word. Mm -hmm. Now, sit down and shut your mouth. Sit down and shut your mouth. Oh, he was talking to him. <laughs> Look at me, Sandale. <laughs> you want to know where they've all gone? No. Join up with Mance Raider. He broke his vows. Betrayed his brothers. Oh, I. And now he's a king beyond the wall. It's a good-looking axe. Fresh forged. And some lovely steel. It'd be a nice hit on Battle with that. Gathering an army. What I hear, he's already got more men than any of your southern kings. And where does he plan marching this army? When you're all the way north, there's only one direction to go. Don't it make you jealous, old man? Hmm? See me with all these young wives and you with no one to warm your bed? You're a pedophile. They just all nasty here? Any man lays a hand on one of my wives, he loses the hand. You one man. It's gonna do with about other men. Who am I? Who am I? Lord Commander. And who are you? Jon Snow. Who are you? You steward. You want to lead one day? We'll learn how to follow. <laughs> but I guess started at the bottom. Not true. You learn how to follow before you can leave. Lord of Light, come to us in our darkness. For the night is dark and full of terrors. For the night is dark and full of terrors. As the winter will freeze the seas. Who are these people? These are new. All you men were named in the light of the seven. Is this how you treat the gods of your fathers? Are you so eager to spit on your ancestors? The smell of fear. Fear and piss and old bones. Trying to figure out who these people is. I could tell you. In the books it's written that a warrior will draw a burning sword from the fire. Stannis Baratheon, warrior of light. That's Robert's brother. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the one that Ned was talking about. It didn't matter if you had some oven gloves on to pull it out. <laughs> Dark and full of terrors. I don't care if you ain't nobody to me. He had on some oven gloves. This woman will lead him into a war he cannot win. Stannis is our king. We follow where he leads, even if we don't like the path. And I declare upon the honor of my house that my beloved brother Robert left. Wasn't my beloved brother? I didn't love him. <laughs> he didn't love me. That my brother Robert left no true-born heirs. The boy Joffrey, the boy Tommen, and the girl Marcella being born of incest between Cersei Lannister. And her brother Jamie Lannister. They know that already too? Yeah, Ned sent him a oh. send him a message. Oh. So Jamie Lannister the Kingslayer, by right of birth and blood, I do this day lay claim to the Iron Throne of Westeros. When Eddard Stark learnt the truth, he told only me. I'll not make the same mistake. Send copies of that letter to every corner of the realm from the arbiter of the war. I owe you an apology, my king. 
Oh, Lord. Duty is to serve. I saw him put something in it. You go. Yeah. Oh, yes. Shall we drink together? Don't. A cup of wine to honor the one true God. Mm -mm. Yeah, I figure. Oh, oh, you gonna try to kill her? Yeah. You gonna die first. <laughs> Oh my God, look at him. Oh. Wow. Dark and full of terrors, old man. He tried, <laughs> he tried, to, tried to poison her. But he died before her and ain't nothing, don't look like nothing happened to her. She a witch too, ain't she? She's a priestess. She a witch. King in the north. I keep expecting you to leave me one castle or another for safekeeping, but you drag me along from camp to camp. Have you grown fond of me, Stark? If I left you with one of my bannermen, your father would know within a fortnight. My bannermen would receive a raven with a message. Release my son, you'll be rich beyond your dreams. Refuse and your house will be destroyed root and stem. You don't trust the loyalty of the men following you into battle. Well, I trust them with my life, just not with yours. <laughs> You've been defeated by a boy. You're held captive by a boy. Perhaps you'll be killed by a boy. They done grown. <laughs> wow. Stannis Baratheon sent ravens to Woo! all the high lords of Westeros. But she just pissed on herself. It's neither a true king nor a true Baratheon. He's your bastard son. Mm. That's true. Stannis is the rightful king. How convenient for him. My father learned the truth. That's why you had him executed. I was your prisoner when that Stark lost his head. And your son killed him so the world would learn who fathered him. And you, you pushed my brother from a window because he saw you with the queen. You have proof. Do you want to trade gossip like a couple of fishwives? I'm sending one of your cousins down to King's Landing with my peace terms. You think my father's going to negotiate with you? You don't know him very well. No, but he's starting to know me. Three victories don't make you a conqueror. It's better than three defeats. Probably poo poo himself that time. <laughs> I, I would. <laughs> now, see, I think I would have took a uh, member, a digit of his hand, you know, to give to daddy so he can negotiate with him. Here you go, this little funky man. Your Grace. I wonder if I might ask you for a favor. Of course, Your Grace. Ned Stark's youngest daughter, Arya. We can't seem to locate her. If she's escaped the capital, Winterfell seems the logical destination. And yet my friends in the North report no sign of her. Curious. If we choose to negotiate with the Starks, the girl has some value. Whoever finds her, well, you know what they say about Lannisters and death. The Mockingbird, you created your own sigil, didn't you? Yes. I heard a song once about a boy of modest means found his way into the home of a very prominent family. He loved the eldest daughter. Sadly, she had eyes for another. Mm. When boys and girls live in the same home, awkward situations can arise. Sometimes I've heard even brothers and sisters develop certain affections. Ah! Right in your face, girl. Everybody know about your little nasty self. Especially in a prominent family. <laughs> Prominent families often forget a simple truth. And which truth is that? Knowledge is power. Seize him. <sighs> Cut his throat. Stop. Oh, wait. I've changed my mind. Let him go. <laughs> power is power. I wish you would have slit his fucking throat. He almost, I bet you he shit himself too. 
Hmm. You're Sir Alton Lannister? I am, Your Grace. I offer your cousins peace if they meet my terms. First, your family must release my sisters. Second, my father's bones must be returned to us so he may rest beside his brother and sister in the crypts beneath Winterfell. An honorable request, Your Grace. Third, Joffrey and the Queen Regent must renounce all claim to dominion of the North from this time. To the end of time, we are a free and independent kingdom. You like, you want me to get killed? That's how I look at. Neither Joffrey nor any of his men shall set foot in our lands again. If he disregards this command, he shall suffer the same fate as my father. These are, these are my terms. If the Queen Regent and her son meet them, I'll give them peace. If not, I will litter the south with Lannister dead. Yeah, like, hold on. Wait a minute, you want me to say those words? You're going to get me killed. <laughs> That's how you look. Yeah. A word, Your Grace. You don't have to call me Your Grace when no one's around. The Lannisters are going to reject your terms, you know. Of course they are. You can fight them in the fields as long as you like. But we won't beat them until you take King's Landing. We can't take King's Landing without ships. My father has ships and men who know how to sail. Men who fought my father. I'm his only living son. He'll listen to me. You don't want Balan Greyjoy for an ally. I need his ships. They say he has 200. They say a million rats live in the sewers of King's Landing. Shall we rally them to fight for us? I understand you don't trust Lord Greyjoy. I don't trust Lord Greyjoy because he is not trustworthy. If I trade the Kingslayer for two girls, my bannerman will string me up by my feet. You want to leave Sansa in the Queen's hands? And Arya? I haven't heard a word about Arya. What are we fighting for if not for them? It's more complicated than that. You know it is. You started it, Mama. She don't get that? You started all of this. Over little little man, Tyrion, and he gone. You can't go to Winterfell. Beg your pardon. It's tomorrow. You'll ride south to the Stormlands. Why in the name of all the because gods would you... Because I need you to negotiate with Renly Baratheon. If Renly sides with us, we'll outnumber them two to one. When they feel the jaws beginning to shut, they'll sue for peace. We'll get the girls back. And we'll all go home for good. I will ride at first light. Yeah, you no know, choice but say, okay, baby, I do that. Because I screwed up. Mm. Let me try to fix something. If Lord Renly, my regards. King Renly, king in every corner now. Oh, because everybody know Joffrey ain't the king, true king. Mm. So everybody named themselves kings. We can't find Arya Stark. Well, it's luck she's dead in a ditch somewhere. Perhaps, but if not, we need her. They'll never give Jamie back to us for Sansa alone. I think they might. They're weak. They put too much value on their women. My grandfather's stupidity in the field of battle is the reason Rob Stark is Uncle Jamie in the first place. His life is in danger. We're at war. All our lives are in danger. I heard a disgusting lie about Uncle Jamie. And you? No, oh, no. It's true. Anything to weaken your claim. No, baby, it's true. No one believes this foul gossip. Someone believes it. Hmm. <laughs> Every kingdom believe it. What are you asking? I'm asking if he fucked other women when he grew tired of you. How many bastards does he have running? <gasps> Girl, slap him again. Slap that little punk. Slap him again, girl. What you just did is punishable by death. Oh, he crazy. See, that's what happens when you sleep with your sibling. The brain get fried up there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that will be all, mother. She slapped the crap Daniel. out of her. No, come under. Good to see you again. The heck? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, my God. This fool, you'll kill, you'll kill baby. Uh, no. Please don't tell me they're gonna kill this baby. Get it done. Uh, no. Get it. Oh, no. oh my God, are you? I'm just like, oh my god. The bastard. The night's watch! Please stop! Where? They took him over the king's road and ignored! How will we know him? 
He's got a bull's head helmet! He made it himself! Find him. I can't believe they killed the babies. That is so wrong, babe. There's something really wrong with these people. Are you freaking serious? Oh my God, I cannot believe they just took that baby out of that woman's so they killed every person there they knew it was his that's just wrong yeah they killed they were going around killing all her trying to kill all the robbers bastard kids well how did he know that they all he they, they were all his little finger probably I hope and pray that King Joffrey gets killed. I hope his mama get killed. The whole Lannister family get killed. I mean, that is so wrong. That's like kill, them killing when well, Moses, all the little the Pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh killing all the firstborn babies. And I swear, <laughs> y'all gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> she don't cry at nothing. Oh, you always making fun of me for crying at movies and stuff. But these are with some babies. babies. <laughs> y'all work with babies. Oh my god, that's so wrong. So. Look like he gonna be the only one left. But nobody don't kill him. Oh, I just I do not like the Lannister family. I think if I saw him in real life. You're especially just, Joffrey. You're just actors, baby. Oh no, they ain't just <laughs> actors. They played the part real good. That means they're good at their job. Oh, I cannot believe that. A baby. That's like killing our granddaughter. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I won't go on, y'all. This is... Mm -mm. That's some tough episodes. That is going to be the first thing. That's like... All right, y'all. Wasn't very pleased with this episode. Very disappointed. Very disappointed in this episode. That's just... I want to be able to push... No, I want to stab Joffrey. No, cut his head off. His mama beat the crap out of her with a doggone sword. And Jamie, just go ahead and let the dire wolf handle him. You know, I'd do that. Tyrion, Tyrion is the only one that I let live out of that Lannister family. <laughs> only one. Because he funny, he a comedian, and knowledgeable. He ain't stupid. He the smart one. Yeah. They talk about him, but he the smartest one out of the whole group. He about the only one that he ain't got his head so far up the ass. That's crazy. And actually treat people like people. That's crazy. Yeah, See what happens the shit when, out of See what happens when you're the richest people? Yeah. And you think you can get away with anything? See what happens? Incest. Uh, stealing. Because he stole a throne. Murder. Oh, just. Yeah. All right. I'm good. Sure. No, but I. 
I just cannot believe they did that to the baby. Not only the baby, the kids. There was a boy they threw it drowning in the water. Get a lot of kids. See, Robert should have kept his thing in his pants. That's I don't think it was ever in his pants to begin with. That's what he mess around. He's running around with dick out. Well, not, not according to being around his wife. No, he didn't like her anyway. I don't blame him. If I had to be married, I wouldn't have fucked her either. So, Stannis, okay, Robert's brother, is sending out letters to all the kingdoms that Joffrey and his his yes. mother and his uncle, he's the, the byproduct of them, all them kids are. Yep. See, I But Jeffrey just went ugly. He, he looked like a snake. You remember uh, that 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 mm, what's that movie? Harry Potter. That oh. snake. That's what he looked like. That snake. Ugly tail. Just ugly. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rant over. Rant over. Thank you guys for joining us on tonight. I'm very, I gotta say, I'm very disappointed in this episode of how this season two started. Very disappointed in it. Um, one very pleased with how episode, I mean, not episode, but season one ended with Ned Stark decapitated. Uh, then we're going to this bull crap. <laughs> but I don't know. It might take me. Mm. I just don't like the fact that they kill those babies. I don't like that. But I guess I stick with it if I could see them get hurt. If they don't get hurt, y'all, I promise y'all. <laughs> Well, you want to stick with it to find out. Hmm. But anyway, thank you guys for joining us on this journey. Hit the like and subscribe button. And please, as always, leave your lovely comments. We do appreciate those. You guys have a nice evening. Bye-bye.